Well, it appears Bayern are finally back. They've won every game this season. We haven't, and to top it off, we play Borussia Dortmund today. This is gonna be fun. So then guys, welcome back to the Red Devil Revival, episode 88 of our Road of Glory series here with Kaiserslautern. As I've just said in that intro, Bayern have made a very good start to the season. We finally have a real title competition on our hands at long last. After we walked the league last year, Bayern have sorted themselves out. They played seven games in the league, won all seven. We have not. We are unbeaten after six games played so far. We do have to play Borussia Dortmund today, though, at the Signal Iduna Park, which is not going to be easy. But we have to be careful and stop slipping up. I was buying are going to start getting a very big lead over us. We also will possibly be taking part in the Champions League as well today. But guys, if you missed the last episode where we went through the rest of our transfer business as well as did our local derby with Mainz in the Bundesliga, we link right above me to ask exactly how we did get on in that game and with our transfers, everything like that. And of course, guys, if you do enjoy today's video, do make sure to chuck a like down onto it. And if you do want to see any more of my content, such as the Red Dead Revival, then do make sure to hit that subscribe button and to ring that notification bell to be notified when any of my content here on YouTube goes live. Now, now you're going to get straight into this video today. Possibly two games taking place. Definitely Dortmund. Maybe RZ Alkmaar in the Champions League as well, depending on how long that first game with Dortmund goes on. We've had previous matches with them, which have been very high scoring. Could possibly be the case today. We're going to get into our schedule, our run through all of our results since last time out. Of course, last episode was that 2-0 win over Mainz. A really good performance. A brace from Chimpitaz. He has continued on his good goal-scoring form since that game. We then took on Napoli in the first game of the Champions League group stage. And we just about nicked it at the San Paolo. A 1-0 win. 93rd minute winner coming from Tagsev after he came on as a substitute. We then played Werder Bremen away in the Bundesliga and smashed them 3-0 goals from Fermek and Chimpitaz. And we have most recently played Hoffenheim at home. And disappointingly, we drew one all. It was a very frustrating game. We dominated it. And a bit like the earlier game in the season up against Dusseldorf, just didn't put our chances away. And we kind of blew it, really. In the league, though, we are second. You can see four wins, two draws from our opening six fixtures. 14 points, which in previous years would have us up probably in top spot. Bayern, however, have other ideas. They've won all seven. They are seven clear of us. If we lose today, it is not going to be going well. You can see Chimpataz is top goal scorer in the league currently, so at least that is going well. In the Champions League, we sit second in it. Of course, if we play our Z today, it will be a battle for first position. We've also had our cup draw, and we have Union Berlin in the second round. For the first game of today, then, with Belushi Dorp, this is how we're lining up. Misic in net, Jonathan Tarn, Ricardo Lay out the back. Williams in at right back, Luizio in at DM, Franco at left back. It's in the midfield of Montel, Tagsef and Fermek. Unfortunately, we have injuries to both Sandberg and Amiri. A little bit frustrating, really. I wanted to give Sandberg another game. It's then Suzu and Schumpeter starting up front. I gave Suzu a rest in the Hoffenheim game. Maybe that was a mistake because, of course, we did not win it. But that is how we're lining up. Let's get into this game. Let's see how we do get on. Will it be the first of two games today? Will it be the only game? We'll have to wait and see. As I said earlier, many, many times we've played Dortmund and many times we've had very high scoring games. So it could well be the case here today. I'm going to say, come on, lads. Show me what we can do to keep our run going. I think that's fair enough. I will take a draw away at the Signal Iduna Park, but you can see how poor Borussia Dortmund's recent form is. Should we win today, they'll have five defeats on the bounce. So it would be very nice if we can inflict that fifth defeat against them today. It most definitely will do, but it is never an easy game away at Dortmund. That is for sure. I'm not going to go in here and underestimate them. That is why we're playing such a strong squad today. Here we go. Highlight inside the very first seconds of the game, literally from the kickoff. We start with the ball. It's a poor attempted ball at the pitch there. And Fabio Silva has just had the defenders part like the Red Sea just then. What on earth are we doing? Silva puts Dortmund up after 23 seconds. And yes, that was very, very bad. One long ball over the top. The defenders parted. Lucio didn't track the man. 
I have no idea what we were doing then. Absolutely awful. And Misic in net didn't cover himself in glory either. Didn't really even attempt to save it. Three minutes in now, another highlight. I did mention about the fact these games are often action-packed. This is proving here. Jim Pataz make it one all. He's Mr. Sitter. Oh, the form he's been on, I thought that was going to be his 10th goal of the season already. He puts it just wide. That could prove to be costly. A Dortmund corner now. 10 minutes into the game. We head it clear initially, but not very well. Do we get a chance to break here? No, we do not. Richarlison very nearly put Dortmund 2 0 up. We do eventually clear it. Maybe a chance to counter that. Mattia Fermek on it now. Come on, Mattia. He loses the ball, but Sousa does pick it up. And he gets taken out by Zagadou. Unbelievable, we're only 10 minutes in, and we've already seen three very good chances and one goal already. Should really be one all, or maybe even 2 1, considering the chance Richarlison has. It has quietened down a little bit now since that most recent Richarlison chance. I've said encouraged to the boys. Unfortunately, not much else to see. Quite literally, that first minute goal, and very little else is occurring since then. I'm going to say Demar Morph to the boys. Are we going to go in at half-time losing? It'll be the first time all season we'll be actually going in at half-time with us trailing at the break. And indeed, that is the case. Very, very poor from us. Thrash me arms. I'm far from pleased. This is not good enough from us whatsoever. Franco, a lot more to come from. Okay, they are all looking up for it, which is at least positive. Apparently, Montel is looking furious and in danger of losing discipline. We're going to get him off the pitch now. I don't want him getting a stupid red card. I'm going to put Fermek as the box-to-box. -box. We'll get Cosme on and swap Tagsef and Cosme over. Come on, boys. One more half to go. Can we turn this around? A highlight as soon as we kick off from the second half. And if we start with a goal kick. Lucio now to Ricardo Lay. Plays it up to Cosme. Calls fresh on the pitch. Lovely ball over the top. Chimpataz. Is he going to get there first? He doesn't. But Tagsef does. It's a goal. He's not missing that. He scored recently a massive goal up against Napoli. That could prove to be a massive goal in this Dortmund game. It gets us back on level terms. And it gives us a platform to build on from now in this game. A little bit of luck the way it fell to him perfectly. And kind of caught the goalkeeper out. But sometimes you just need a bit of luck in games to get yourself back into them. I don't care how it comes about. We're back in the game. It's one all now. We have just under 40 minutes to try and win this match. Encourage the lads. What can we do? I do wonder if we should make a change up front. We're not seeing a huge amount from the strikers. But Hound Cosme with a bit of a deep free kick into Jonathan Tarr. He's missed. He's offside anyway, but I don't know how he's missed it. I really don't understand that. Another highlight, another set piece. Tags F with a corner for Kaiserslautern. It's a poor one, beaten by the first man. Hang on, Sousa though. Sousa again. Oh my God, how many times is he playing to the same bloody player? That's a joke. Right, another substitution coming up. Fermek is looking shattered. We're going to get him bomb on for him. Oh, do I want to play him as the box to box? Yeah, go on. He has the physical to do it. We'll bring him on for Fermek. Highlight going on as we're making that change. Rikuto, Rikuto, not too sure, tries to cross it in. He does, and he caught that well, and thankfully it goes over the bar. We are running out of time right now. We have 15 minutes plus stoppage time. We're going to go attacking. I do think we should make a change up front. I really, really do. Souza has not had a good game, and apparently he's also picked up a slight knock. So we're going to get Edward on in his place. I'm going to get him on as a complete forward I reckon I'm also going to put Cosme up behind the attackers come on boys 10 minutes to play plus stoppage time can we steal this I did say I would take a draw I will do but we need to try and win this as a highlight 88 minutes on the clock Tagsef loses it but Franco gets it back Hector plays it down the line into the space Trimpitas runs onto it Fresh on the pitch, Edward is in there. It goes in, it's way too close to keep it, and Newbell claims it easily. Oh, dearie me, Newbell lumps it off the pitch. What are we going to see here? Jonathan Tarr, please don't being stupid. Okay, back to Misic now. What is our goalkeeper going to do? Now Ricardo Lay. Come on, Ricardo. To Hector Franco now. We're running out of time. Don't concede, please. Oh, it's going to so badly screw us up. John Liuzio, Cosme now. Come on, lads. Cosme, what are you going to do with it? Over to Franco now on his left flank. Can he cross it in? He does. Chimpitaz is over the bar. Oh, Fernando, he's had such a poor game today. He's been on such good form. We've got low time left. It looks like it's going to finish level. Indeed it does. Oh, it's more drop points. This season is so frustrating so far. What a frustrating game. Another one to add to our growing list already this season. Not happy. Not good enough. 
we could have won that. It was an awful goal to concede in the first minute of the game. We had chances throughout to win this match. We really did. Not good enough. We are now six points behind Hansi Flick's Bayern Munich. I don't know how he's still got that job, but he has. And at the moment, they are looking like the favourites for the title. Of course, we still got time to go and play RZ. So I'll see you at that Champions League game, guys, very shortly. Here we are then, game number two, RZ Altmar in the Champions League. And really, this has to be a win. If we don't get a win today, we can be three games without one, and it's going to be very, very poor. We're lining up as well as I have switched up some of the players to give some players rest and so on. We're putting Bern Leno in net. He is the second choice keeper, so I do want to play him today. Ricardo Leia and Kevin Ayler's at the back. I was very tempted to try and risk Jamie Lawrence, but he still isn't quite fit. It reckons he's about to full training by tomorrow in game. Zelinski in at right back, Lucio at DM, Franco at left back, Tags of Svanberg and Cosme in the midfield with Souza and Pellegri starting up front. I have decided to give Chimpitaz a rest, partially because he played like shit in that last game, and also because of the fact he has played every single minute of the campaign so far. So we'll give him a rest, hopefully. It can help him out going forward. Let's get into this game then. RZ Altmar at home. First v second in the group stage. Altmar currently sit top of it. We are second there. Managed by Filippo Inzaghi. Here we go. I'm going to point the finger. We should be winning this one fairly comfortably. Take the rest of my have faith in them. And most of the boys other than Svanberg are all in agreement. Which is good stuff. You can see our recent form there. Three wins, two draws. On papers, not too bad. But if it becomes two wins and three draws. Especially no win in our last three. That will not be good whatsoever. But here we go. Inside the first few minutes, no highlights to speak of as of yet. I will happily take a very drab 1-0 win. I do not really care. I just want three points on the board once again. I want us to be comfortably top of our group. If we can play the first two games of this group, which is a very tough group, with both Sevilla and Napoli in it, if we can play the first two and have six points, we'll be in a very good position, that's for sure. Especially the fact that RZ beat Sevilla as well. We can really capitalise on that cock up between the two of them. At the moment, Sevilla are beating Napoli, and we have our first highlight an AZ corner, and they try to go a bit of a short routine. They do eventually get it in, and thankfully for us, it goes just wide. That could easily have found its way into the back of the net. Leno did not move to try and get to that ball at all, and we are very lucky not to be losing. Are we going in at half time at nil nil? Indeed, we are. This is a recurring theme of recent matches, not creating chances. Point the finger, I'm not happy. This is not good enough from us whatsoever. Very, very poor. We are far superior in terms of strength and ability to AZ Alkmaar, yet we are not doing anything. We've apparently had eight shots. We haven't seen a single one of them from our boys. I'm making a change up front. Chimpataz is coming on. I'm not wasting any time. And Swanberg is playing terribly. I'm going to get Fermek on for him. Swaps Fermek and Cosme over as well. Come on, lads. We have 27 minutes plus stoppage time to try and do something this game. We've not seen anything from us whatsoever. You can see the formation that AZ out are playing. A very narrow formation, actually. I'm wondering if we should play a bit wider than try and exploit the spaces that will no doubt be left in those wide areas. In fact, we are going to do that. I'm going to put Tagsef on the right. We're going to put Souza on the left. We're going to put him there as a round oiter because he's a left footer. We're going to tell Tagsef to go as an inverted winger on support, I think. I'm also going to get Zielinski off for Williams. I'm going to tell Williams to go more attacking and to make sure he overlaps on that right-hand side. We're going to play wider. Come on, lads. We're going to focus play down the wings. We have 15 minutes left. We're going to go attacking as well. Come on, boys, please. Can we do something in this game? It would appear not because we are doing absolutely nothing right now. Fermit can go as a box-to-box. -box. This is a joke right now. Seriously, we're going to push Liuzio up as a ball-winning midfielder on defend, I guess. Oh, my goodness me. This is ridiculous right now. I don't know what to do. Very attacking. We're going to put Franco on attacking as well on the left flank. We're at home. You wouldn't have thought we are. We haven't seen anything. Stop playing out of defence. Come on. Anything from the boys. Or is it going to be another awful draw from us and more drop points? It certainly looks like it. Indeed it is. What is going on with us lately? Look at the domination. We didn't see a single highlight from us. I can't believe this. We've been insane in recent fixtures. Like, last episode, we were really good. All of last season, we were phenomenal. The German Super Cup final, we dominated. We put teams to the sword. And the last three games, 
We just can't do anything. We're not creating anything at all. Not good enough again from the boys. Really, really poor stuff. I thought, based on the improvements we made to the squad, we'd be able to tear teams to shreds. And if anything, it's a complete opposite right now. Yes, we're defending quite well, but offensively, we are not showing anything. And it is very, very frustrating. It really is. Of course, let's go to our schedule. Let's find out what we're going to for for next episode. It will be the Sevilla game in the Champions League because that could be a mass game. If that's Sevilla won and we drop points, should they beat us, we're going to be in real trouble. We really, really are. So next episode, guys, will be Sevilla away and also Hamburg at home. And hopefully by that point, we may have sorted our form out. But we will have to wait and see exactly what does go on. Overall though guys, that brings this video to a close and for the first time in what feels like forever, an episode without a win of any kind in it at all. Not good whatsoever, two draws, two really poor performances, offensively, defensively not bad but going forward we were shite, we really were and it's been the same for the past three games. Really not good enough at all, I'm going to have to have a little look and see what is going on with the players because something is not ticking right now. And I need to get to the bottom of it. Hopefully, though, guys, you have enjoyed today's episode. If you do have any suggestions for what could be the cause of all this, do let me know down in the comments. And, of course, guys, if you did enjoy it, make sure to chuck a like down onto the video. And, of course, guys, if you do want to see any more of my content, such as the Red Dead Revival, then do make sure to hit that subscribe button and to ring that notification bell to be notified when any of my content here on YouTube goes live. But, guys, thank you very much for watching. And I will see you again next time.